Where do you find your joy? Mm. This is the question. I talk about joy a lot because it was the one thing that I lost. I lost that that feeling, that, that just joyful, mm, that just lovely feeling you get in your stomach when you're just looking forward to something or something happens and you get that little sort of almost giddiness, this, that excitement about something happening. And I lost it <sighs> through mental health issues and lots of other things, just things going wrong in my life and being a bit battered and things happening and not things going the way I thought they should. But also, you know, just kind of ex expectations of myself, you know, not living up to the expectations I thought, you know, of how my life would be and just things kind of just catching up with me. And then it dawned on me, I can't remember the last time I felt any joy. It was, it was really frustrating and, and you know, I was doing all the things, getting on with my life, doing all the things, everything was fine, but I just didn't feel the joy or excitement. I remember going, oh, maybe if I don't do anything, maybe it might just appear. It might just appear out of nowhere like a little surprise, but uh, that didn't happen. And I knew I had to take matters into my own hands. So I went on a little joy, joy journey. <laughs> I was trying to think of a way to put them two words together then. Journey. Okay, no, let, let's stop that. Um, <laughs> but I did, I did go on a little joy journey, not a, not a joy ride, but a joy journey um, to find it again. I was like, you know, that's not normal, you know, and I couldn't get help in any other, in any other way. You know, there was no help out there for me. So I was like, I have to do this myself. I have to help myself. So, so I just, I just got back to what did I used to love when I was little? You know, all them things you used to do when you were little, they're usually a good sign to what things will bring you joy. You know, I danced since I was five years old and dancing has always, 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 always been something that has brought me so much joy. Um, but I didn't do it. I wasn't doing it, like, at all. Maybe on a drunken night out I was doing it, you know, like we all do. We have a few drinks and hit the dance floor. But it wasn't the same thing. It wasn't moving my body in a way that felt good or... Oh, you know, yeah, it wasn't the best thing. So I was like, well, why am I not doing that more? How can I incorporate that more into my life? And so that is the thing I wanted to ask you. You know, what is something you used to do as a child that brought you so much joy, you know, just for the sake of it? You know, I think we can get wrapped up in, you know, especially as an adult, we can get wrapped up in like doing things for a purpose, we must have a purpose. It must create something in the end. You know, but maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just for the sake of it. Maybe it's just doing something just because it feels good. And whatever that is. And, you know, like I say, dancing is one for me. That doesn't, that might not be for you. And I know music is, music is a big one for everyone, I think. Um, one of my little tips is to make a joy playlist, which I would highly recommend. Just um, literally pick your favourite, favourite songs, maybe ones that you did listen to as a child, ones that just literally get you, maybe not dancing, but maybe just singing along, maybe tapping your toe a little bit, you know, like I think we're all, we all love music in some form, no matter what genre that is. Um, so that music can be really powerful, it can really shift your mood. So I would recommend making a joy playlist for yourself, but just find that thing that you used to do when you were little that brought you so, so much joy and can you incorporate it into your daily life? <laughs> Sometimes that's easier said than done. Um, and the best way to do these is to tag it onto things that you maybe already do. You know, for me, dancing, I incorporated it into when I cooked. You know, I would basically put music on when I was cooking and just dance around my kitchen and that was another way for me to incorporate dancing into my daily life. 
and it only has to be five or ten minutes it really doesn't have to be for a long time you know and those small those few minutes just for yourself where you bring yourself where you just come back to yourself you know they can be quite mindful moments as well I find when I'm dancing and it's quite a meditative meditative thing but I'm not thinking about anything else while I'm doing it so I would really recommend doing that so if you're struggling in any way then try and incorporate just those daily little daily little joyful moments into your life whatever they are happy joy hunting <laughs>